guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 103 of My Hero Academia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. See, right now, I don't even know, like, mm, what the fuck they're going to be talking about for four months because girl has not had time to read the damn manga, so pfft. it could be anything, but of course, it's going to be a really big destruction. Oh, of course, you got to be scared. I'm like, oh, I'm so happy we got to see me go today. They gotta at least put MV, MV8 at least by one, one ton, maybe? I don't know, god damn it, like, I just, once again, I just, I wanna see it! You give me that little preview during the Christmas episode, and it's just like, ah! still makes you wonder like okay let's say in four months from now like of course whatever's gonna happen to japan like is it gonna affect the rest of the world because of course it should just in case Mm. 
Yeah. Because let's say they go ahead and do it now. Like, they're going to know something's up. So you want to wait until they're the most vulnerable and then strike. Nice hair. <laughs> I just wish we got to see more between these two because, ah! Uh... What if we may not see that? But like, oh huh, God, this is only 103 and I don't even know like where the fuck this season's gonna end. <laughs> oh God, I'm so fucking curious. <laughs> I mean, should we really talk about it?
Of course. God, that looked like Florida traffic. Oh. Very true. Hmm? Well, damn. <laughs> so would he be... Seventeen about now? <laughs> but 
but the question is, will we ever see them? Like, oh my god. Huh, I mean, you know, it's okay if we don't see them all by the end of this season. I just, you know, we can wait till next season. Yeah, because honestly, who the fuck is going to take that long way? <laughs>
<clears throat> Honestly, I like this episode a lot. I mean, they like at times like it felt like a little bit of kind of how I said with like the first episode of this season, like half recap, half filler, half canon and such. Like with so I would say like. Mm, God, I can't do it in percentage well. <laughs> but there is still more, it seems like more canon and a little teeny tiny bit of filler and a little teeny tiny bit of cli- uh, of a recap episode as well. But it was really good. Honestly, the biggest question that I'm wondering, especially with Hawks like playing both sides right now, something kind of tells me that somebody on the villain side is going to find out because right now it, it's chill. Like, no one knows what the fuck is going on and what the hell Hawks is currently doing. But just something tells me by the end of this fucking season, or maybe even going into season six, someone is going to find out about Hawks and what he really truly is capable of. And in the end, possibly, Hawks is possibly maybe, because it wouldn't surprise me, um, because let, let's talk about it. Because uh, as someone who I'm comparing this to, like Godfather or any type of series where someone has joined, like an organization, a gang, or something, to find out their quote unquote secrets, and let's say because that person possibly knows too much, So would that be like a filler? Because it seems like it's a filler episode. I don't know. It probably is. Like I, This is why I need to continue going where I kind of stopped reading. Because I read it like what? I, I continued like a, two, three weeks ago. And then I was like a little busy. And you know what? I, it's perfect. Because after I record this next show and while these two are editing and while I clean my room, I can fucking catch up. I don't know if I can in a day, but mm. so going back to what I was talking about. So let's say like someone else is watching over Hawks. Like, let, I don't know who, but let's say someone is and thinks that, OK, because as of comparing to someone from the Godfather organization or some type of group that is big and bad and we're trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do in the next few months and Let's say this person finds out a little too much about it and somebody already knows. 50 out of 50, that person might get killed. And so let's say somebody on the villain side is watching over Hawks and shit like that. And they find out that he knows too fucking much or he's going to find out about something soon. Ba- basically still also knowing a little way too fucking much. Um, And in the end... The only thing that Hawks could possibly do to shut that person up is to straight up kill them. Maybe. I, I It wouldn't surprise me if we got to a point where we do see a hero kill a villain because, of course, it has to happen. But, I mean... Do I want it to happen? Good? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I just do because it's just like I said it's the only way to like keep them keep him under wraps to know that he's not like going back and forth between initial yes yeah, something just kind of tells me that might happen I'm not 100% sure because yeah I gotta continue reading the damn manga from whatever fucking chapter I stopped at because I think I was on 200 200 and something that's the last one I remember um because I passed the chapters that I've already read for Sugar Rocky and everything. And I just started and shit like that. So, yeah. But. Because <laughs> it just wouldn't surprise me. Because it makes the most sense. We've already killed a hero. So, why not, like, fuck it, kill a villain just to make sure. I'm just saying, you know. Make the group a little fucking smaller. That's all. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 103 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially out next Saturday for episode 104. Bye, guys.